Hi students, welcome back to Max Class. Hope you are all doing good. So today we are going to start the new chapter that is chapter 11, menstruation. Have you heard about menstruation? What is the meaning of menstruation? Menstruation means measurement. And in earlier classes, we have measured so many figures. Which are the figures you know? We use measurements in which all figures. You know the shapes, square, rectangle, triangle, then what quadrilaterals you measure. So these are the, mm, uh, uh, these are the figures we are going to uh, learn in detail. That is first one. We are going to learn about the shape and we are going to find the area of that shape and we are going to find the perimeter of that shape. Before that you should know what is meant by area and what is meant by perimeter. Consider the figure. You know the figure. This is the square. Okay. So what is the perimeter of the square? Perimeter means the length of the boundary. The boundary of the square means these four sides. 1, 2, 3, 4. The total length of this boundary is called perimeter. That means first side plus second side plus third side plus fourth side is called the perimeter of the given figure. Next, what do you mean by its area? Area means the portion inside this boundary. The boundary kya only lulla space etreyana kenu lulla na area. Okay. Length of the boundary is the perimeter and the region inside this boundary is the area of the given shape. Understood? So the first shape is, first shape you know is what? Square. Okay, this is the square and in the square inside we know that all sides are equal. So what is the area of the square? Area means side into side. If one side is A, it is A into A or we simply write as what? A square. Okay. Next, what is the perimeter? Perimeter means the sum of all four sides. That is A plus A plus A plus A. Total 4A. So the perimeter of the square is what? 4A. Okay. Next to figure is, or the next shape is, second one is the rectangle. You know, the rectangle shape is like this. And what are the dimensions of the rectangle? There is, this is the length and this is the breadth of the rectangle. Okay. So what is the area of the rectangle? The area of the rectangle is what? L into B. Because early, early, in early classes you studied it. L into B. And the perimeter of the rectangle is L plus L plus B plus B. That is the total length of the boundary. L plus L is 2L and B plus B is what? 2B. 2L plus 2B is 2L plus 2B. You can take this common factor to outside. So the perimeter of the rectangle is 2 into L plus B. Next one is the circle. Circle. What is the shape of the circle? You all know. This is the, the circle and the dimension of the circle. This is the center of the circle. Center is in the circle in the in the line for in the radius. Okay. So, what is the area of the circle? Area of the circle is pi r square. Where pi is a constant defined as pi is equal to 22 by 7 or this is equal to 3.14. This is a constant everywhere wherever you are seeing the pi. The value of pi is 3.14 or it is 22 by 7. Depending on the problem, we will put the value for pi, I, pi either 22 by 7 or 3.14. Okay. So this is pi r square and the perimeter that is the total length of this circle is 2 pi r. Understood? So this is the perimeter and this is the area of the circle. Next one is triangle. Triangle. Any triangle. This is the triangle and this is the base of the triangle and this is the height of the triangle. So next we are going to learn about the areas of the shapes. First 
is the triangle. What is the area of the triangle? The seventh standard you study. The area of the triangle. If we, this is the base of the triangle, and this is the height of the triangle. The area of the triangle, triangle, is half of B X or B X by two. That is base into height divided by two, and the perimeter is. This side plus, this side plus, this side, first side plus, second side plus, third side. If it is given, you can find the area perimeter of the triangle. And the fifth one is parallelogram. Fifth one, parallelogram. Okay, parallelogram means you have studied, understanding quadrilateral chapter. You already learned how a parallelogram looks like. These two are the parallel sides. We know that these two are parallel sides, and the parallel sides are always equal. And this is the base of the parallelogram, and this is the height of the parallelogram. The parallel side is the next parallel side length, the width is the line. Ada ana outta dekhinga parallelogram is the height. Okay. So if the base and height is given. The area of the parallelogram is base into height. That is B H. Area of the triangle is half B H. Area of the parallelogram is B H. इगेने वन दोनों का निकाल। We can divide this parallelogram into two halves. First half is a triangle. Second half is also a triangle. Area of the first triangle is half B H. Area of the second triangle is also half B H. Total half B H plus half B H is one B H. So B into X. This is the area of the parallelogram. Next one is trapezium. So I am wrapping these two. Six to one. Trapezium. It's like the roof of our home. Trapezium. It's very very important. Trapezium in this chapter. The trapezium means there will be two parallel sides, right? So let the length of this side be A and the length of this side be B. A and B be the length of two parallel sides, and this one be let H be the height of the trapezium. So the area of the trapezium is half H or H by two into A plus B. Okay, H by two. That is the height divided by two into sum of the length of the parallel sides. That is A plus B. It's very very important. Next one is the quadrilateral. Seventh one for a quadrilateral. Quadrilateral is yeah. a shape of a triangle. Area of the triangle. Suppose this is a quadrilateral, four side figure. One diagonal is given. Let it be B. One height is given. Let it be H1. Given pixel in no B diagonal level. Next height is H2. Tanal. The area of this quadrilateral is B by 2 into H1 plus H2. That is the length of the diagonal divided by 2 into H1 plus H2. Next one is a rhombus. Condition is there. If two diagonals of a rhombus is given, rhombus means all four sides are equal. This is a rhombus. Okay. The first diagonal will be D1. Length of the first diagonal is D1. Let the length of the second diagonal be D2. If D1 and D2 is given, area of the rhombus is half of D1 D2. Or simply we will write D1 D2. By two. So these are the main formulas. First one we studied about the square. Area of the square is a square. Next we studied and perimeter of the square is 4a. Rectangle area is l into b. Perimeter 2 into l plus b. Circle perimeter is 2 pi r. Area is pi r square. Where pi is a constant defined as pi is equal to 22 by 7 or 3.14. Next we studied about the parallelogram. Parallelogram area is base into height. A triangle is half into b h. Next 
after parallel order trapezium. Trapezium is h by 2 into a plus b where a and b are what? Length of the parallel sides. Then the parallel sides in the length are a and b. H is the parallel sides come to distance. Perpendicular distance between two parallel sides is called the height of the trapezium. Then the parallel side a b. The terminal and distance are in the height h. Quadrilateral. Prepare quadrilateral is the quadrilateral. One diagonal is the two opposite vertex. Diagonal is the distance h1 to h2 ir. Area of the quadrilateral is d into h1 plus h2 by 2. And the rhombus. Two diagonals are given. one. The area of the rhombus is d1 d2 by 2. So these are the main formulas we have to learn from this chapter. question we can do. The area, this is an example problem. The area of a trapezium shaped field, so we are dealing with a trapezium shaped field, is 480 meters square. The area is given, what is that? 480 meter square. And the distance between the parallel sides is 15 meter. These are the parallel sides. The number of the distance in the parallel is 15 Meter. Then one of the parallel side is 20 meter. The other parallel sides. Other than one parallel side in the world is 20 meter. Find the other parallel side. So we call this side as A and we call this side as B and we have to find what is B. So trapezium, everything is given. What is the area of the trapezium? H by 2 into A plus B, where H is the distance between these two parallel sides. A is one parallel side, B is another parallel side. And area is given. What is the area given? 480 is equal to H is the 15 by 2 into A plus B. A is 20 plus B is, we have to find what is B. So we have to find B. We have to take this 15 by 2 to the next side. Then 15 by 2 is multiplied here. So when we take this 15 by 2 to the next side, what it becomes? It is divided by 15 by 2. Meaning, one shortcut method. We have 15 by 2 in it. We have opposite side lay here. 2 by 15. 3. Fraction is equal to 3. Multiply the fraction is equal equal to the left side lay here. 15 by 2 is equal to 2 by 15. 15 by 2 is equal to 2 into 2 by 15 is equal to 20 plus B. Now we can cancel this 480 by 15. 480 divided by 15, 3, 45, 32, 30, 0. So if we divide, we can get this as 32. 32 into 2 is 64 is equal to 20 plus B. So we have to find B only. We are taking this 20 to the next side. So it becomes minus 20. So B is equal to 64 minus 20. What is the answer? 44 meters. So the length of the next parallel side is what? 44 meters. First parallel side is 120. That is our A. The distance between the parallel side is 15 meters. Area is 480. Now the L value in the range is substituted. So one step in the next step is 15 by 2. This is the first problem, one more problem. Second one, so also an example one. The area of a rhombus is rhombus. Area is 240 centimeters square. The area of this rhombus. One of the diagonal is 16 centimeter and we have to find the next diagonal that is D2. What is the area of the rhombus when two diagonals are given when D1 and D2 is given? Area of the rhombus is D1 into D2 by 2. Okay. D1 is given. What is D1? 16 centimeter and we have to find D2. Right. Area what is given there? That is 240 is equal to 16 into D2 we don't know by 2. Okay. 
okay this 2 and 16 can be cancelled 8 so we got 140 is equal to 8 into d2 okay this d2 is equal to here it is multiplied here it will take over the now division so 240 divided by 8 and so is what 30 cm So these are the main two problems we are dealing that is rhombicium and rhombus. Study all the formulas. We will get questions from these formulas. Direct questions only we will get. So rhombus and rhombicium is very important from this section. Hope you all understood today's class. Thank you.